Now let's talk about dipole-dipole forces. Uh, we know what a dipole is. A dipole in which is uh, in which you have two atoms with different electronegativities, and the one that is more electronegative will be partially negative. That's what this means, delta minus. The one that is less electronegative will be delta plus or partial positive. And this is what's called a plus arrow, and the plus arrow shows the plus by the partial positive, and the arrow uh, implies or, or indicates that the electrons in this bond are spending more time associated with the fluorine. That's why the fluorine is partially negative. Then we've got a nice picture here. I don't usually draw the lines, but you can. This is between the negative of one molecule, partial negative, and the partial positive on the other one. That is a drawing of a dipole-dipole force. And that's what we're talking about is dipole-dipole forces. Now, um, we don't uh, reference this uh, very much in this class, but it is true that the electronegativity di difference uh, determines or can determine which has larger dipole-dipole forces. So bigger difference in electronegativity. And I'll use delta En. Delta means difference or change. Bigger difference in electronegativity equals larger IMF. Larger dipole-dipole forces in particular, and where IMF just means intermolecular forces, it's the more general case. But maybe I should write equals larger dipole-dipole, since that's what I really mean. There we go. So on this page, we have two examples. Uh, we have which compound exhibits stronger dipole-dipole forces, HF or HCl. Uh, we can draw the Lewis structures for these. We can draw dipoles, one for each bond. Remember, we only draw them for bonds in this course. And then we look at our periodic table. Well, we've got the numbers right here, and let me just make sure that you know that on your conversion and equation sheet on page 2, there is a listing of the important electronegativity values for you to know. So here's H down here at 2.1. We're talking about chlorine and fluorine right now. Fluorine would have the bigger difference between fluorine and hydrogen that would make it have a larger difference in electronegativity and a larger dipole-dipole force. So we have 2.1 and 4.0 for our electronegativity values. We have 2.1 and 3.0, so when you take the difference, we're gonna get a bigger difference here, and so that's the one I'm gonna circle, and I will allow you to do the next problem on your own.